Well, it seems Hassan Piker, everybody's favorite punching bag, it seems, he has gotten himself in a little bit of hot water again. This time, it involves another one of his reactions. He keeps doing this. I'm going to keep watching it. I'm just going to say delete your account, and I'll move on to the next um, rabid right-wing weirdo. No, nah, not worth it. I mean, it's not hitting the way it should. It doesn't matter. On Twitter, on Twitter, it's going to be very difficult to fucking uh, clap uh, dudes like this because it, Twitter is primed. Twitter is primed into fucking... Uh, Twitter is primed for this shit. Wow, very Hillary Clinton of you, Hassan. How is this Hillary Clinton? Yeah, I'm attacking Hitler on Hitler.com. It's not going to work. All right, I won't fucking do it. Who cares? Tyler, he officially responded back at Hassan saying, Hassan is officially my bitch. After pathetically drafting a tweet on live stream to respond to mine, he realizes a ratio is inevitable and accepts defeat. Stay off Twitter for the next seven days and I'll forgive you. And he also went and added another tweet of basically Hassan reacting to all his content and not really changing or creating his own thumbnail, just slapping his face on top of Tyler's thumbnail. And this basically, it dives into the whole conversation of how certain reactors may not transform the content enough where you will see specific ones like Hassan they'll have a video play and they'll get up out their chair and have their chat watching it which some people watching it may not have a problem with it in the chat but when you have your your favorite content creator not watching it with you it can kind of create some sort of disconnect with your own audience and especially if you're reacting to something and not really transforming it in a different way with the thumbnail you're just taking his thumbnail and putting your face on it and calling it your thumbnail which that's not how it works all he could have easily done is found like i don't know a timestamp in the video screenshotted it put his face on it and said hassan reacts to tyler and would have been different and i don't think tyler has a problem with anybody reacting to his stuff it's just how you react to it how much you transform it and the more obvious one being you creating your own thumbnail which nobody should have to tell you hey you got to make your own thumbnail or at least do what some people will do if they're streaming they'll take a clip of what they were doing whether it's reacting to whatever it is and they'll just upload it to YouTube and let YouTube determine what's the thumbnail and they'll still get a ton of views. And this isn't the first time Hassan has been caught doing this. And it isn't just him. XQC is guilty of this same thing. But this type of thing, it would kind of make certain people look at reactors like, oh, all y'all do is steal content. Whether people like it or not, reactions have really like achieved so many different new heights nowadays that it proved the naysayers wrong way back when when everybody thought that oh reactor shouldn't have a platform and i only say this because i don't want nobody to think all reactors are bad all reactors do is a steal content like i don't want nobody to think everybody else is bad granted there isn't nothing legally speaking that tyler could do he can't sue him just because he needs some type of money off of him reacting to his content that way because i would think that would set some type of dangerous precedent unless if he uses content id then i guess that's the only route he could go i could think of where every video he reacts to all the earnings goes directly towards tyler not hassan but yeah all in all unless tyler puts his videos on a content id system then i don't think he can really do nothing about it in the end but with that being said y'all let me know what you think about this mess in the comments below if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe be sure to check out all the links in the description box below and i'll see y'all in the next video peace